Welcome back to the 19th annual Derby City Classic here at the Horseshoe Louisville. If you like pool, well, players from around the world have been here for the best pool really in the world this week. Banks, nine ball, one pocket, and ten ball. And I'm telling you what, it has been one of the most anticipated events ever. The Diamond Bigfoot Ten Ball Challenge played on this beautiful five by ten. We started with 16 of the greatest players on the planet all competing for the $32,000 purse, and now we are down to the final four. Derby City, are we ready for some amazing pool? Make some noise. We're gonna find out who's going to the championship in this very match. Well, he arrived by defeating uh, Yohin Chu, Sky Woodward. He's a China Open champion, US Open champion, sponsored by Steinway Billiards and Davini Coos from Davo City, Philippines, the Slayer, Lee Van Corteza. Our next competitor arrived here by defeating Nick Economopoulos in round one. Then Dennis Orcolo last night. He's a five-time Turning Stone champion, Kuwait nine-ball champion, last year's Bigfoot champion. He's the defending champion, sponsored by Muchi, Kings of Vapor from Glasgow, Scotland, the Eagle Eye, Jason Shaw. <laughs> Going to hand things over to the best in the business from Sacramento, California, our referee, Mr. Ken Schumann. Thank you, Derek. Thank you, everybody. And once again, just to remind you, it's a race to 11. Rack your own winter breaks, 40-second shot clock, and all ball fouls. At this time, I have the distinct honor to send it up to the commentary booth to Mark Wilson and Hall of Famer Danny DiLiberto. Go ahead, Mark. I love watching world-class pool, and if you do as well, welcome aboard, and thanks for joining us. Danny DiLiberto is here on my right. I'm Mark Wilson. Danny, overwhelming firepower versus remarkable consistency. Let us hear your initial thoughts. Well, to me, it's like a boxing match. It's the boxer against the puncher. Guess who the puncher is? <laughs> well, he's, he's like, rounded out his skill set a little bit. He, Danny's referring to Jason Shaw. And you always talk about Corteza, and I agree with you. He's one of the most consistent players. He's always near the finals and a very knowledgeable, tough guy to beat. I'm, I'm anxious to see if he's intimidated by playing this great puncher. You better duck. He's won the leg. We'll be breaking here. This is a race to 11. The winner advances to the final. A little spin on there. Did not levy the type of blow that we're used to seeing here on the break. He didn't make a ball, but he didn't lose his head. And he, even though he didn't hit him great, look how many balls are past the yeah. center of the table. There's eight of the ten balls he moved to the other end, but yet nothing found in the pocket here on the 5 by 10 Eagle Eye playing safe. The tactical side of the game has not been Jason Shaw's best friend. Yeah, he left a shot. Not easy, but it's a shot. Shaw makes up for it, though. He, he's sometimes a little lackadaisical on the tactical side. But he can just uh, overwhelm you with his accuracy. We Great always, shot. Yeah, it certainly was. Great position. Nice way to open up the match. I think he needs the bridge. Not a very tall guy. Well, so. even the tall player needs the bridge when there's a diamond past the side pocket on the 5 by 10 Looks like the 5 and 10 There's going to be some uh, yeah. delicate billiard play there. Yeah, he might have a billiard on the 10 if he gets to the 5. He might get to the five, but I think he's got to draw the ball here. Well, the 10 might be a combination in the far corner. Yeah. Let's, yeah, I think he's gonna it, it is. He's going to take a look. He's going to take a look at look. that. Yeah, good call, Danny. Hard to tell from our vantage point if it's on well enough to play it, but that would certainly spare him the difficulty of trying to break it out or play the beard. 
on the 10. Right. Trying to hold the cue ball from going into the side pocket and preserve an angle. So now. Well, now what? Now we're going to find out if that combination is straight in the corner. He's looking at it again. He does have the billiard. If he doesn't have the combination, I don't think it makes sense to go one rail into the cluster because you don't have to get a shot if you do that. Looks like he's satisfied to play the combination. Well, I guess he's playing the combination the way he hit that ball. He's smiling. He knows he could have did a lot more with that shot, positionally speaking. I think it's straight in. I don't think it's exactly straight in because he's agonized over it three times now. Well, if it's not straight in, then it's a difficult shot because a haircut will miss it. He didn't miss it. Yeah, it was straight in. <laughs> Good shot. Corteza captures the opening rack here, leads the match one game to zero. In a tournament like this, you better get out every time you got a chance. And some of the times you don't have a good out, you got to get out. That's how you win tournaments. Yeah, that opportunity to score was set up by just a little bit sloppy defensive play. Yeah, but he didn't have to make the one. That was a tough shot. Correct. We're just used to the elite players uh, playing just a little tighter on their defensive side of the game. He's sponsored by Steinway Billiards in New York City, and that's one of the finest pools in the country. Eight and nine, right behind the one. They were finding the side pockets with frequency over the last day and a half. Not so much. He made the one, and he's got a cut on the two in the side. May also go in the corner. Looks like it might. I think position on the three will be easier if you play the two in the side. Playing the two in the corner might be difficult. Don't want to hit any balls. Good speed. Did he get... Oh, he missed the ball, though. He hit it heavy, and that's why the pace was out of the cue ball and didn't really provide a shot on the three anyway. His judgment was sound. He just mishit the two. Here's that Eagle Eye is faced with a kick, a two-cushion kick. I don't know if we can get the overhead here, but if there is the opportunity. It'll be end rail, side rail, and into the two. Nice well, speed. Oh, he hit it. Good shot. He didn't get the best of it, but you got to hit the ball. Whatever happens after that, you know, it's still better than ball in hand, but in this case, it, it could have been ball in hand. Does the three go by the five in the side? Definitely. Well, then he's got a chance to run out and go ahead 2 nothing. He was looking at the angle. He'd like to get an angle where the cue ball wouldn't rub onto the five ball after pocketing the three. That's why he played it so far away from the three. He wanted to preserve this angle. Now he's going to stun it out around the six and just play the four in the right-hand corner pocket as he stands at the table. Nice shot. Well, position on the five is going to be a little bit tricky. Yeah, it's going to be a speed control shot. He's going to be sailing across his position zone. It looks like he's feathering in there pretty nice. He needs oh, about another this. six inches. He Got couldn't it. have put it better with his fingers. That's ball in hand position. Great shot. That was a narrow window to get that ball into the side. He could have also played it in the corner had he gone just a little further. But if he goes short there, he's he's faced with having to play safe. Going to draw the ball a little bit. 
Play the seven in that corner where the nine is. Perfect, because when he makes the eight, he'll have an, an angle on the nine to get to the ten. Of course, even straight in on the nine would be pretty good. He's carving right through this rack. And balls just like that last ball. You cannot uh, take your mind off it for one uh, split second or you will end up hanging it up. Well, I like going forward on this shot. Takes the side pocket scratch out of there, but... She decided pocket square. He, he didn't even come close. I like going three rails for that reason. Part of the pocket with the 10 ball, and he's now taxed Jason Shaw two games from errant safety play. Yeah, he'll do what you're supposed to when the balls are open like that. He's not one of the Filipinos that gets talked about much, but he's probably the most consistent of all of them. A very quiet, unassuming guy that earns your respect with his cue, not by bragging or There's the providing right ego. Yeah, he looked low-key. Hard to not admire his play. And this is, you know, you've got to put pressure on Jason Shaw. He really hasn't had much pressure put upon himself. I don't know yet if he feels pressure ever. Yeah, maybe he sure not. doesn't look like it. No, uh... I can remember him battling Karen Core, and she had him down. She was on the hill, and, he, and she had him stuck up bad a couple times. And he wiggled free, made shots, and just like Danny said, he never exhibited any signs of nerves or anxiety. Much better break. Yet it's going to be a dry break. But he didn't leave a shot on the one. We're going to see some uh, safety play. I don't even think he'll push out. Well, maybe he will. I don't think he can hit the ball. He's pushing out. Tie up a ball, folks. I always say that. Whenever you push out, I believe the pusher is going to get the worst of it. So tie up a ball. And he didn't do it. I don't know. He might have tried to, but it didn't happen. He's going to get this shot back. Isn't he? <laughs> maybe not. I guess, no, you got to give it back, Corteza. And he did. But, you know, we talk about straight shooting. You got you to gotta shoot pretty straight to play good safes also. He's going to cut this thin and try to, he's got a wall of balls to get them with. And he got them. Good job, Jason. We certainly can't belittle that tactical effort. It looks like he might have an edge of the one. Yeah, he's definitely down one eye open. If he Examining does, it. he can go long again, bank it to the end rail, cut it. That uh, didn't hurt him hitting the 10. Not at all. That and he got him. Favorable turn of events there. Jason Shaw will definitely be kicking this time. I like the two rail kick here. Better control of the cue ball. Yeah. So does he. Nice pace there. <laughs> Great kick shot. A great two cushion kick from an awkward circumstance. It's got the four ball involved.
Gonna try to bring the cue ball off the edge of the one. Nice play. Best chance to get the cue ball down table. Get some obstructions in the way. Yeah, he got him. Mission accomplished. Very nice kick, too. He did not introduce right-hand spin on the cue ball because that would have had the momentum of the cue ball mass going the wrong direction when it hit the one on that kick. So he went with what we call a flat ball, just a little bit of draw, kicked to the high side of the one. That drove the cue ball back down table. Needs a rail. Going to fail to get, get a rail. A rail. But once again, let the referee pick the cue ball up and give it to you. Well, Cortez, keep getting out. You got a chance to win. Like I always say, you got to get out all the games that, you know, look like you can get out and then get out some of the ones that are different. Very good player here. I was going to call, you got to get by to nine. I don't know if he did. Yeah, he did. He just managed to slip by. Yeah. The nine was the danger ball. He really needs to get out here. This is a big game for Lee Van because it will mount some pressure for sure. As Jason has yet to get his offense on track, and that's what his game's built upon. Well, to get your offense on track, you got to get to the table. And Cortez is not going to let him get to oh, the table. Look at this 5x10 behind his back. Yeah. Well, I always say it, the, poor, the uh, Filipinos are like rubber bands. They mm. can do all kinds of contortions. Yeah. I know I've looked at some of Efren's bridges with his fingers, and it looked like either E.T. or Gumby. I could never make up my mind, but he has... His fingers bent different than mine do. Well, for you people who never saw Efren, you're going to get a chance to, because he's in the bank pool and the one pocket. That's his best game, one pocket. His nickname is the Magician. And if you never saw him play, and now you're going to, he is a magician. That was a good shot. He hit the thin side of the pocket and almost rubbed the 10 going by, and that would have spoiled this, but he cleared the 10. Yeah. Tracked around. Couldn't have got closer or more straight down on the 6. You know, the 6 gets by the 9, and he knew that <laughs> before. Uh, behind the back again. I don't know. I would I would dislocate my shoulder <laughs> if I tried that. <laughs> Do you shoot behind your back, Mark? Uh, no, I would not, no, but I'm not quite as nimble as <laughs> Lee Van. He's gliding the cue ball just around the table. It floats into position again. He'll go two rails to the nine. Good shot. Yeah, nice follow through. Well, he'll go two rails to the 10 now. Well, taking care of business, Lee Van Corteza. Great opportunity here to score. He took advantage of it, leads the match three games to zero, and this is the first time in the entire event that we've seen Jason Shaw trailing. Three games, big lead in, in this match. But if Shaw gets to the table, three racks are, are not that much. Uh, particularly when he broke and ran six consecutive games in his first match here. Uh, he, he looked like he was going to go yeah. right out the whole match. 
Yeah, that was 11 wins. Six of them came by virtue of the break. And then his next match, he followed it up with four breaking runouts. So out of the 22 games that he's won, 10 came by virtue of break and run out. Uh oh. Oh, he was going inside, but the eight went instead. He made a few balls. Oh, I don't know if he got a good he shot. He doesn't have one. a shot. I don't think he can cut it in. It's yeah. too thin. So Hard we're, we're going to see some safety here. At the at the very least, you'd have to use the bridge. There's absolutely no way to go behind your back or any of the, Well, maybe not. Like, well, how about <laughs> straight in? Just shoot it straight on. Oh, that, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, right, right. That's what I'm saying. Knock I don't think he can play offense rails. here. Good shot. Maybe. Oh, no. Killer. Well, he left an edge, but... I don't think that's going to help Jason get some scoring. Yeah, I think you're right. I think Jason could maybe see the edge. He could. He's looking at it, but they call him eagle eye. So if I could see it, he certainly can. No, he's going to kick. He feels better. Oh, he he didn't kick too well. Cortez has a chance now to go four up. Shaw is on one foul, and we are playing three fouls as a loss of game, and we saw one yesterday. Yeah, the first time in eons I've seen the three-foul rule employed. And the reason for that is these are the best players in the world, and they kick real well. That was in the Kazakis and Holman match. The balls arranged themselves in a funny fashion. Ended up working out where Holman was, every time he came to the table, it was almost an impossible kick. Good shot. He's going to go three rails now to the three. No, he went two rails. Got into it a little deep. Yeah. Somehow or another, when that comes up, I see the three rail position for some reason. I know it sounds like two rails is easier to control than three, but he didn't get real real good no, here. No, not at all. This would be an interesting play. If he goes three rails around the table, he'll have to go between the five and nine with the cue ball. And hit some balls. I don't think he's doing that. He finally missed. Shaw's going to get a chance to score. Dangerous man to let to the table. Very casual on his approach to each shot. <laughs> Sometimes it looks like he does more than you have to, but he saw it that way. It was a, a speck on the table and he got rid of it with a wet finger. Lasseter used to do that. Use his finger to get little specks off the table. And Eagle Eye quickly runs out the remaining balls. Picks up his first win. He's behind now. Three games to one. 
Well, I'm going to be stubborn. I think Shaw, sh I mean, Cortez should have gone three rails. I think he would have got out and still be shooting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was one of those debatable circumstances for him, and he chose the path that he did, but then he tried to do quite a bit. I don't know that I fault him for trying to play offense there, but it looked like at the last minute he thought he'd try to hit the object ball heavy with the cue ball to hold it down there. Seemed like he... Uh, Maybe twisted or something because he missed it by quite a margin. It didn't rattle the pocket. Right. Didn't even really threaten the pocket. Three rails. I think he had a better target. Yeah, yeah. Then he missed the ball. It was missable. I guess it was missable because he missed. Yeah, that was his only mistake thus Isn't far. Is that clever of me? Out of the four racks, so it's a pretty blistering pace to set. One mistake in four racks. Here we get a first look at Jason Shaw's break today. He's been soft breaking quite a bit. Powered up a little more so. The one ball does not check up positionally speaking quite as well as it had been right in front of the corner, but he has a real reasonable cut shot on the one. Yeah. I don't know, do you left-hand English this position, or do you go three rails around the balls, eight and ten? Whenever you use extreme English, the shot is much tougher. Much tougher. If the five goes, if it's wide open to the corner pocket, then he could just go ahead and play with just a hint of inside English and not try to work the cue ball close, but go all out to make sure you make the ball. And play the two from longer range. It doesn't. Oh, he tried he to do something. and that One of the rare shots he misses, but he didn't lose his head. Well, the, the positional requirement there that he chose is what the cause of the miss was. He had to amp up the power. He wasn't even feeling certain about it. And he chose now. Well, Cortez is back to the table, but mm -hmm. with a kick. Well, I think he can hit. No, I think he's going to bank. He's maybe like the parallel. He might bank the one towards the two and let the cue ball go over behind the six and five. I'm not sure, but looks like he can hit the one. He hit it. Boy, look at the kill shot here. Hello, six ball. <laughs> what a shot that was. It's one of those that makes me want to clap here in the booth. Couldn't have executed it any better. Please don't clap in the booth because you'll hurt my ears. I didn't. I didn't. I'm, I'm kidding. Golf clap. Look at this. It seems like the seven's kind of in the way here. No? <laughs> well, Cortez outmaneuvered him and can go ahead by three again. Well, that was a killer safety he laid down there from that awkward Real arrangement good. of the balls, and he got nubbed up against the six from off angle, long range. Yeah, he has a lot of tools. There's a reason he always finishes in the top four in this thing. Yeah, you're right. Not an accident. Not luck. <laughs> no, you can't. It's hard to get lucky even one match against these elite pros, let alone consistently year after year be the top four on the 10-foot table against the best players in the world. And I think he's still a young man. He's 28, I believe. Three and four are off the table, so you're going to go to the five after the two. What's he doing? He's either praying. Oh, no, he's looking. <laughs> he wants to see how much pocket he has for the five past the six. Of course I'm kidding. <laughs> he can go past the five and play it in the corner or side, too, if he doesn't yeah. want to deal there, with the there's six. There's a lot of pockets. Well, looks like he's chosen to go to the corner. That's... Really well played. Yeah, he can go one rail now off of the five. Yeah, he's got a big full opening now. He's pretty close to his work. No work to do, really. Just make the five. You're going to have position automatically. But I say just make the five. It's missable. But he didn't miss. It went right through the center. Yeah. He's going to need the bridge now. K 
can't reach it, Corteza. Kenny is there with the bridge. Kenny Schumann, great referee, great master of ceremony, too. That's good. And now it's just a matter of yeah. he can just a little bit of introduce just a little bit of right hand English, two cushions right at the eight. Right. You don't want to be on the cushion. It's the only way you can go wrong. I mean, after you pocket the ball, of course. Hit the pocket well. Look at this. He's getting a nice angle, too. He really doesn't need an angle. The nine is going inside. Yeah, in fact, the angle hurt him a little, I believe. Yeah, maybe so. He'd have to bend it a little bit. You don't want to bump the nine. He, I don't know if he wants to try to bend it, come up and play the nine in the same pocket as the yeah, eight. He's going to do that. He's drawing the ball. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. He didn't want to hit it. He could have gone in the drink there, too. He was right, right. on line. He, need, he let up on a stroke just a little bit, lost some of the backspin. Folks, the drink is the pocket. Sorry. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Don't be sorry. Uh oh you overcut it. I use a little pool vernacular. I try to refrain from that. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, he captured this 10 ball, and it's 4-1 to one now. Cortez in front. Yeah, folks, we got a lot of words we use to describe things in pool that maybe you people out there don't know, but the drink is the pocket. <laughs> <laughs> the rock is the cue ball. We could go on and on with this. <laughs> yeah. Snooker and sewed up are the same. Hooked. Hooked. Listen, yeah. Yeah. All right, 4 1. Leave in in front and breaking. 8 and 9 right behind the head ball. Had a couple breaks where he had some side spin. Then broke dry with his best break. There's a good break. I don't know that he made anything, did he, Danny? No. Not yet. No. Uh, ugly. This is two good breaks he's hit. He you came know, up dry. Yeah, you don't want to give this guy anything like this. No. He's no. dangerous. He hasn't exploded yet, but good chance to now. Matter of time, isn't That's it? That's a good shot right there. It looked easy, but he hit two rails with a lot of balls in the way. Got a good angle. He'll probably go a little two rails to the four in the side. Perfect. Players like Jason Shaw just makes pool fun to watch because it's fast, it's exciting, he's flamboyant. Uh, he does things that are uncommon. That really yeah. sells the sport. Yeah, he does things that are uncommon. He runs out from everywhere. That's uncommon. Yeah. <laughs> He's played himself in for a big draw shot here, it looks like. Oh, he has a little angle. Maybe no, he has to I go forward. He's, he's going to bounce to the rail, I believe. That's pretty stiff. he have to really no, power he's not, up. No, he doesn't. No? It's got more angle than you'd think. You're right. Handled it effortlessly. It was a pretty big stroke. But he made it look so easy. Floats the cue ball across the table. Yeah, he does make it look easy. And like some of the commercials, don't try this at home. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is a trained professional. He's always had the firepower, you know. It's just now he's rounded out his skills some. Got his emotions in check. He's got finesse. 
happy guy. Wife and a beautiful baby here well, recently. And they that live seems in to... Connecticut. He, he came to the United States and he went to New York City. Got some hardening and experience playing all the players there. Off from the dry break, Jason Shaw cleans up. Trails in the match two games to four. You know, we always mention it, but it does seem like some of his maturity has corresponded to his wife and baby. Oh, definitely. He's a happier person because of it. Good for him. Right. I'm happy. There would be times in the past where I'd see him and he would be kind of frustrated and maybe maybe not quite as uh, organized as you'd like to see a future star be. And now it seems like he's got his life together very, very well. A standout in the Moscone Cup for the European team, oh. which I think all the people who live in the <laughs> United States should not play for Europe. Oh, boy. This guy, unbelievable what he can do. Oh, He's an ugly kiss. He's breaking a little harder. An ugly kiss, though. Yeah. But he's breaking them harder for some reason. Well, the table's broke in. Those balls right behind the one have not been finding the target quite as often as they did on day one. You remember how he was breaking them half that speed, making two or three balls, positioned on the one right down there by the corner where it's at. Yeah, you don't give this guy an inning like this. You know, it's two ways. You know, we say the same thing about Shaw. You don't give... Cortez an inning like this. Right. He got a good angle to go one rail now to the three. Let's see the break shot again. How he got a kiss and scratched. Three ball. Yep. Boom. Tree yeah. ball cut it in. Well, that's what he gets for not making the three ball. Mm, look at this. Oh, this is not a bargain. Ten just obstructing him a little bit, but not much. Yeah, this guy's a good horse. That was a good shot there under the pressure. He's been out of line the last two shots. Yeah, and the players nowadays don't seem to care who they're playing. They're going to play their game. In the old days, you hear me mention Lassiter a lot. Players played him, they dogged their brains out. They don't do that anymore, Mark. Now we have a pretty solid contingent. Superstar players these days. Sure, he gets the 10 in the heart of the pocket. Three-game lead again. Speaking of last there, uh, there was a younger player telling Nick Barner one day about how that nowadays there's a lot of players that play as well as Luther Laster, maybe as many as a dozen. And Nick's response was, well, then that's 12 guys that never saw a Lassiter play. You're right. <laughs> I don't think there's a dozen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty funny the way Nick said I that. I played him. He was a hard-nosed player, man. He made that cum shot every time. Yeah. And the cum shot is like that one long shot maybe that wins the rack. I like talking about the old players because that makes them live forever. Hey, Lee Van shifted sides here on the break. Oh, he made a ball. Where are you two? That's 
going near the corner pocket. I don't know if it's going to give him a shot. Enough. No, well, I think he's. I think he's yeah. got a good shot. But yeah, position's going to be tough. Of course, but I mean, so often you come up after you make a ball and don't even you have to push out or kick or something. Here, he at least has a shot to do something. Oh, he's got a shot. But like I said, position is tough because the three looks like it only goes in the side. Got to have good speed here, and the eight could be in the way if you try to go back and forth. He rolled it and made it. Hit it thin. Yeah, he's not. Brushed the five, opened up the three ten combo, but well, that'd be he's got suicidal. A, he's got a tough shot on the three. Can he play the three ten combo and safe at the same time? Yes, maybe he not. could. He can shoot the combination and maybe go behind the four. That's what I would do, but that's why I'm doing commentary. Oh, he did that. He didn't play him safe. No. And he didn't make the 10. Kind of flinched at it a little bit. Maybe Cortez has got a flaw with combinations. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was far from a... He made a great combination on the 10 to begin I'm, with. I'm just kidding a little bit. <laughs> it's easy to kid because I don't have to eat from playing pool. Well, we and we don't think he has any flaws because he's here every time. We know you're kidding. Good speed. He looks like he's going to go into the uh, six ball. What will happen here if he goes into it? Nothing. Oh. Nothing. He's a got a bank. Shot. Yeah. You know, he doesn't seem to mind shooting these banks. I will bet it doesn't roll off. Oh, but he didn't have it accurate. Huh. Oh, this is going to be disaster. Yeah. Well, Cortez doesn't mind. But he never seemed intimidated in this match at all. No. And he's been ahead pretty well the whole match so far. So that helps narrow intimidation. Well, the other thing is at home on a daily basis, he plays tough players every single day. So there's really nobody here that strikes fear in his heart. Used to competing at this level. I'm not saying he always wins. I'm just saying this is just his a standard fare. Right. Us as Americans rarely get this level of competition. He's going to go two rails and play the eight in the pocket where he is. Nice shot. I said two rails, it's three, but the third rail doesn't count. <laughs> really picked up the nice angle here, Danny. It's just, a, this is just ball pocketing now. Go to the nine in the side. Position on the ten would be automatic when you do that. Oh, he's playing solid, with yeah. no doubt, and that's what you got to do to beat Shaw. Very good. Four-game lead now. <laughs> that is a big, insurmountable lead with most people. But not Jason Shaw. It's almost like you're just barely above tide. It's not, really, it's not even really so much the score differential. It's the fact that maybe you put a hint of doubt in Jason Shaw's mind because you're setting a blistering pace. And then that now that pressure mounts that Jason will recognize. Hey, I, this guy's for real here. I'm gonna have to really play. Where in the other matches, Jason has uh, pretty much got out in front and dominated wire to wire. Well, that would suggest that he misjudged how good this guy plays, but I don't think that's the case. No, it hasn't been. I mean, Jason broke him. Got an ugly kiss there into the scratch, and then there's been a couple other. Uh, Cortez have played a couple safeties that turned into good shots. Jason he's missed the shot. He's safe. Shaking his head. All right. Yeah. Twisting he's... his lips. Bad sign. <clears throat> Is he going to make anything, though? No, he didn't. Okay. Well. Well, Shaw's got a pretty good inning here. 
No problems. The only problem he's got is Corteza. Inside English? Yeah, well, he could have hit it a little harder. Because now he's got work to do to get to the four. That's a good shot. And he could work. <laughs> he traveled the cue ball quite a ways. We know he plays very well from behind because in the U.S. Open, he was way behind a couple times and won. And one time he fell short, but he was losing, I think, 9-3 to three and won the match. And then he was 9-3 to three and got to 10. And then uh, his last match, he was ahead 6-0 on Shane Van Boning and ended up shooting over 900 but lost the match. Well, I don't consider this real good position, but he's happy to have this. Yeah. I would like to be closer than this myself. It's all in perception. He views this as like a bar table to him. He shoots so straight. You and I have angst over those shots. <laughs> he looks at it like, how would you miss this shot? Speak for yourself. Oh, well, you just said I'm it. kidding. I just said that. 6-3 <laughs> is our score. Shaw runs those balls out in a hurry. We're going to have a momentary break now. We'll be right back. Guess what, everybody? We're back. Six games to three. Shaw's trailing and breaking. Uh-oh. That is not the way you want to come back from a break. Make a couple balls on the break and scratch on the floor. Well, if he shoots anymore, I think he ought to go back to the softer break because that doesn't go off the table. That's a bad shot there, doing that. A Lee Van could use a bridge and play a combination here and get rid of the sixth ball. Then he would have the... Uh, Oh, no, that would clear the pocket for the... Well, it wouldn't. I don't think you have to use the bridge. Put the cue ball close to the rail, and you could reach it. I don't think it'll change the action of the balls. You could also play the well, just the one ball in the far corner pocket. I don't think you do that because then the six is in the way of the two. This is what I like, even though I can't do it. <laughs> Third time in the match, he's behind his back. Well, we got a girl here that does massages, so in case you twist your back doing that, you can have help. Plays for the right angle here to easily transfer to the three. He'll go from the five to the seven after he pockets the three. A little closer. Slow than, down, he's yeah, saying. A little closer than he intended. And now he's a little off angle on this three. Yeah, it's going to be tough to get to the five, which mm. is the next ball. Yeah. This is tricky business now. He may have to play the five back in the same pocket that the three goes in. Actually, you could play safe too, but you don't like playing safe. He is playing safe. 
Oh, he played a 10. Look oh, at that 10 shot. was on. That's, goodness gracious, I did not even see that. Great shot. <laughs> oh, quick win there. 7-3 your score. Yeah, well, brilliant deduction there for Lee Van Corteza to maximize his inning there, give himself a chance to win. And it worked. Yeah, absolutely brilliant shot. Okay, Corteza close to the center of the table, squares him up. Had a couple dry breaks here. Looks like he's yet again broke dry. Nowhere near the routine type run out that uh, Shaw was presented with the last time Corteza broke dry. He's jacked up over the nine. The four and the ten could be a problem. I don't think that's a problem. Uh... Might be a billiard. Might be able to break it out, but still uh, some... It's not routine, anyway. His problem is going off the table when he breaks. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and as the games clip by, the pressure mounts. Oh, the pressure should be on. He overcut it. We're not used to seeing him miss. We're going to see that combo that... Uh, Cortez to play. There it is. What a knowledgeable shot. Well, we know he doesn't lack knowledge. None of the Filipinos do, in fact. Did uh -oh. he get a rail? He did. Oh, barely. Good thing he didn't hit the nine on the nose. Well, look how good he is. You know, he's he got Shaw. It's in a predicament where all he can do is hit the one and hope. Things are not going Jason Shaw's way right now. At all. It's almost as if things have conspired against him. And Lee Van looks at the billiard on the 410. See what type of work he has to do to get that. He'd prefer to not break out the 410. But if it doesn't go, if he doesn't feel confident about it, he's going to have the capacity to play position on the 3 to send the cue ball into the 10. I think the billiard is on. That's what I'm saying. He, he went and looked and checked it. Yep. And, you know, he's such a sound and knowledgeable player. He knows if it's a good shot to go for or not because they come up so often. His style of pool. He looked at it again. And I think the billiard could actually be free. Well, he just now looked to see about breaking uh, out the 10. How'd he do? Good. Yeah, but he couldn't play real good position doing that. Oof. But nevertheless, he's at the table. He's not snookered. And the four is relatively close to the corner. Yeah, but he's going to lose the cue ball a little bit here. This ball's a thin hit. That was pretty good Didn't control. Hurt him. That was pretty good control from where he was at. And he's got the angle on the four to go one rail to the five. Yeah, he's measuring up where he would like to be on the five to get to the six. No bargain here. He's taking a look to see if he wants to play the six ball from down table rather than try to fight his way back up to the end rail. Yeah, trying to get close here, you could snooker yourself. Does look like he's queuing up with the intention of coming backwards, however. Oh, he missed the ball. He left the shot, I believe. He did get where he needed to be. And he's showing a little emotion there, which he doesn't usually do. Oh, 
Look at that stroke. <laughs> draws it eight feet away, draws it 10, 11 feet back. And the people uh, recognized that and applauded a little. They didn't care about making dust. Good speed. That was a little funny, I think. Because he's not going to be close to the nine now. Jason's got that good power stroke. Didn't have to display it there. He's fun to watch warming up. I would pay to watch him warm up. And he drains the 10. 7-4 is now the score. That was a big turn of events for the Jason Shaw camp. 8-3 was going to be looking a little grim. 7-4, not too bad. Have that type of arsenal that Jason Shaw presents. He hasn't shown it yet, Mark. Don't go off the table on the break. Yeah, 60 balls to 37 balls pocketed. Pretty much tells the tale. 896 on the TPA. Poked TPA means total performance average. Of course, all invented by Pat Fleming of Accustats. 1,000 is perfect. Anything above 900 is absolutely amazing. 850 is normally considered the professional benchmark. Look at that kiss he got back, and that's the third time he scratched on the brake. Yeah, the brake is beating him. That's why I like them taking something off. I'm not pulling for him, but I don't like to see players lose the game because of the break. But the layout here, he's got to thread the needle a couple of times. Enough problems getting to the four. Then from the four to the five could be a little different. Of course, the five goes in the side off the eight. It also goes in the corner. Yeah, it's a little bit testy. He didn't seem delighted by the five off the eight. Looks like the eight might be just a hair low. Good speed. It was good shot. Could have very easily gone behind the uh, six ball there. I'm almost feeling like he might play the five right in the same pocket he's playing the four. One cushion right up the long rail. You're right. That way you don't have to monkey around, get a shallow angle on the side pocket there. Oh, he overcut it. Went in. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. Yeah, I thought he missed it by a larger margin than that. It did go into the jaws. But you could tell instantly he overcut it. Well, Shaw's lucky to be at the table again. Didn't figure to get to the table here. Good shot. 
Good speed. Well, he didn't get straight. He's got a little angle, but not much. I'm surprised he didn't get more angle. Looks like he has enough to work with here. A little, he does, little right English. Yeah, a little more angle, though. It would have been automatic. Good shot. Where are you going, cue ball? <laughs> he doesn't have to get close to his stuff. This is plenty close for him. You and I like to be a diamond closer. Speak for yourself. <laughs> well, it's true. Oh, boy. Very rare. She's not having a very good day. You would never expect that. His firepower got pickled. Well, I think it's the testimonial to the score differential that he knows he's feeling a little pressure. He knows he cannot afford much, uh, many more unforced errors. That wasn't even close. Very rare. Yeah, and we're so spoiled seeing him whistle everything in effortlessly that when he does make an error, we're astounded. He overcut it, too. He's not taking advantage. Yeah, this is about the third rack in a row. This has just been uh, gifted to Jason Shaw. Well, he'll only be two games behind if he gets out here, and I'm saying if because he's done things we aren't accustomed to seeing. And there it is, 7-5, our score now. Messy game there. Very messy. Yeah, the break hasn't been good for him. Let's see what kind of break he uses here. Okay, here we go. Seven five our score. Keep your eye on the key wall. Squared it up good this time. Well, he made a ball. Which didn't one he? was that? No, I don't think so. Or no. I didn't see it. No, neither Two, did four, he. Neither six, did eight, Kenny. No, he did not. Yeah, the break got fickle on him. Yeah, the table's getting broke in now. The, the four railers aren't going anymore, and the balls on the side are not going. Two and the five, not dead into the side pocket, so I don't know what he can do. He can maybe try to cut the two into the five and make it. Could try to break it out here. Try to play position. Oh, he and missed. Lee Van is now not, uh, he's lost his rhythm with his stroke. There's something, he's, he's messed up three or four shots consecutively. Could the pressure be getting to Corteza? Look at that shot. Oh, yeah. Look, <laughs> he Pretty needed shot. a three to hit the two. And now and what's a he got? Combination, the combination yeah. two eight? I guess. Yeah, that's what he's got, but it's going to be tricky. Yeah, and getting position, too. I have to roll across the table. It's, gonna... it's a cut on the eight, so you could lose the two ball. 
can't hit it like straight on and pull. Oh, it would oh, go by. Oh, never mind. Shot. And he got good on the three now. That was a great shot. Yeah, especially when we didn't even know it passed. We were thinking combination, and the ball went right past it. It appears that Jason Shaw smells blood now. He's seen a little weakness. Well, you got a little funny here. Gonna go two rails. Pretty to watch the cue ball float in there. Two cushions. Oh, he's all right now. Oh, yeah. Not much to do. You know, Jason's a young man, too. I think he's only around 28. Yeah, he is a young man. <laughs> that was a pretty heady little play. Just nudge well, the 10 forward he, rather yeah. than try to do something. Nowhere near as simple. There's only one game behind. He's not Seven, having six. a great day, but he's definitely in the match. Yeah, he, he kind of felt like it was just any moment uh, he might break loose. He's now won three racks in a row, although I would contend that Cortez lost at least two of those rather yeah. than Jason won them, but it doesn't matter. And Cortez lost them. That's what I said. I know. Yeah. Yeah, we got a fight on our hands now. It's been very entertaining. Well, watching uh, Shaw break him bad and not pocketing him real good, I guess we got to call it entertaining. <laughs> Five and four, right behind the one. They are not finding the pocket at all. Dry break. And he snook her down to one. Where do you push? You know, for me, I would I would just go ahead and nudge that three ball right up onto the six and uh, take it out of play and get into some type of a tactical exchange here. Just because that's where Cortez's strength lies, getting into a shootout is not going to, you know, be good for Lee Van. Yeah, he's once again pushed out to a safe, but he didn't. He didn't get the balls uh, oddly arranged enough. I don't think. He might have a bank. He did have a bank. Surprised Cortez left him that. Does the three pass the four? I think it does. Doesn't matter if it does because it's tough here. Are you going to go short two rails? Like that? Wow. What a good shot. Wow. You had to use all of the pocket to get that, too. He had to hit the very heavy side. Right. I guess the ball passes. Well, he's looking at it, and now he 
has made up his mind he's going to shoot the three because it does pass. Trickled it in. Trying to see where he wants to get on the eight. The six is hanging in the side. Not exactly. It's not? No. I'm looking at this. Apparently monitor. he goes in the side. But. You know, the thing about it is he doesn't have to go far. He doesn't have to do much with it. Make yeah. it. He's a little reverse on this shot. Rubs it in. Well, you got to be careful. Don't overstroke this or you'll go behind the nine. I think he did. I think he hit it perfect. He did? I'm not sure. Yeah, he's got it now. Yeah. Good shot. <laughs> Eli. Very good. Got to draw the ball back a little bit. No, he pushed it and got the 10 in the far corner. Not wasting time. This will tie up the score. That's, <laughs> he's back to his rhythm. Uh, it's, it, you hate to lose a game from your push out. You just feel so dumb. You know, with a push out, like you always say, you're, you're the underdog. Tie something up, do something, make sure you get back to the table one time. Now, that being said, Jason Shaw made a tremendous cross-corner bank on the one that just trickled in. It's hard to make yourself play that shot. And then he punished him once it found the pocket. Uh, he captured the rest of the rack. And you kind of feel like it's boom goes the dynamite now. He, Shaw has got his good pace. He's got his confidence back. Yeah, he had his rhythm there. He, that was the... I could say the old Shaw, but he's not old. Right, right. But that was the good Shaw for sure. Yeah, all the momentum has switched now. You know, Levin has still probably not made more mistakes than Jason Shaw, but Jason Shaw has punished Levin more often from the mistakes. The break has been fickle. Jason, going to try a new racking template here, see if we can get a yeah, few balls they to wear go. Out. They wear out a little, and the balls aren't froze so well. But I think it's a great invention. No, me too. The equity and generally the speed that it provides. <laughs> Look at Jason, very relaxed. He's laughing, smiling, joking with He's them. feeling a little better than he did a half hour ago. Right. Centers it up. Oh, the ball oh, went inside. Boy. A number of balls went in. Oh, man. <laughs> and it looks like Jason Shaw's off to the races here, this wreck. Three balls on the break. One of them was the one ball. 
Better get the bridge. He's lanky, but I I rather shoot with the bridge here. Oh, he's tucked his shirt in. Yeah, he's reaching out. Certainly doesn't want to pick up a foul. Uh oh. No oh, good. it's an oh oh, but he got away with it. Well, kinda. He's not getting out. <laughs> Maybe he is. <laughs> he's looking at the side pocket. That looks so tough from here. It, it's tough because you can't travel far up this angle. Missed it. He got out of line and he missed it. Tried to force the issue. He had it pretty darn good, though. Yeah, sleep in the street good. Well, let's see if Cortez can get himself together because his last few innings were not good. That's not good either. Trickled it in, though. Yeah, at this moment, Cortez did need an easy out because he was teetering. He's not out yet, but I would say he's going to. Yeah, to let him regain a little composure here, feel a little better about the circumstances. He's still well within range. This will stem some of the momentum that Jason Shaw had picked up. Eight sevens are a score now. Lee Van eases back in front. Shaw made three balls on the break using the new rack, the new template. Yeah, that part worked. <laughs> I, well, I, uh, I bet uh, Lee Van noticed, and I bet he's looking forward to this break, too, because he hasn't been all that productive from the break. For all of Jason Shaw's firepower, you know, just suppose that rather than play that ball on the side, he'd played a, a defensive shot there that got him back to the table one time. Well, I'm just saying. No, you're right. And maybe, you're right, but you know, he pockets too good. Sometimes it'll hurt you. But he was trying to force the issue there, and, and now he's given the cheap one away. Yep. Ball right behind the one found the side pocket. Is he going to get any kind of a shot? He can hit it, but I don't think he can make it. Well, definitely couldn't make it past the three. But this still plays into Lee Van's strengths here, the tactical side of the game. He can manipulate, maybe buy himself a little better turn. Early in the match, he earned himself a couple games with stellar safety play. That sort of defangs the ferociousness of Jason Shaw's offense. Watch out. Went right in the pocket. Bad mistake. That's not well, bad luck. That was well, horrible. Well, I mean, look at the... It doesn't look like it was really there, but... Yeah, that's gonna... That's gonna be bad. Went straight in the pocket. I see it's that. It's always a bad shot. <laughs> I see that for sure. Man. Yeah, he if, looks a little sick about it. If Levin had... Uh, shaking his head... Had he got the cue ball in behind the three there, he would have been in really good yeah. shape. <laughs> he got it behind the three, but it went in the pocket. It went in the drink? The drink, too. <laughs> it's 
Jimmy White has a good saying about that. Gravity got the ball. Oh, he's got perfect here. Well, I know he wasn't trying to get to the corner. <laughs> that ball didn't <laughs> roll off. Uh, he cracks me up. So loose, so confident. Don't get straight in on the nine. Don't what? Oh, he's got an up angle. Yeah, he can go two rails. You know, Jason Shaw has kind of entered the realm of elite player status where pro players come and watch all of his matches now. They don't watch all the other guys' players. They'll watch an Efren match. They'll watch a Bustamani match. But now people are starting to filter in around whenever Jason Shaw plays. He says he ties the score up at eight games apiece. Did they watch you play, Mark, when you play? No, no. There's <laughs> always available seating next to my table. <laughs> Strickland would be playing uh, Rimpy and Reyes and uh, Parika. And <laughs> too, too modest. <laughs> I'm just saying, I can remember some of the tables. It would be funny. It would be four feature matches, and they'd be uh, standing room only around the other three. But you could sit in the front row of mine. <laughs> but when you played, they went for a hot dog and a beer. <laughs> yep. Didn't matter though. I enjoyed it, and uh, I don't have any ego about it. I really didn't play for the uh, approval of someone else. Uh oh! Look at that, Danny. The brakes One not hop. working. No, good with him. that's totally on him. The, uh, the I time know on the floor, and it's uh, totally him. You're he got, right. He got kissed in a couple times, but there's that's inexcusable. That's lackadaisical, oh. sloppy. And like I said, Corteza hasn't been solid, and he needs an inning like mm -hmm. this. Just too casual, you know. The break uh, hasn't been good. You know, not unlucky good, but he's just not breaking right. All right. That ball went right in a pocket. It hopped once and went right in the drink. He bounced on the floor earlier. Those two, that's, those are the only ones that are unacceptable. When you get kissed in, hey, that happens. And then that compounded with the fact that Cortez played very good early in the match and uh, the fact that uh, Jason maybe could have played safe on his last inning. But that being said, Lee Van definitely has to take advantage here. I think he will. Pretty easy layout. I don't see where he has to do anything special. Just fall on the balls and don't miss. That was nice. He took the longer shot to preserve the proper angle to make the rest of the rack play well so he didn't try to force the issue. I make mistakes of that nature. Try to work the cue ball too close rather than preserve a good angle. And inevitably put myself in a bad spot where I have to be a better shot maker than I really am. He's got a hint of an angle. I think this is doable. Not much, but it it's, won't be frozen to the angle. rail. It's a good angle because he's going to get closer to the next ball. He's top spinning down, so it's pretty straight. But I think he'll be all right. He's fine. Now he's finer. That's a good shot.
Yeah, he's going to have to draw the ball here a little bit. Maybe draw it right to the side rail. Yeah, good. He, he looks a hint twitchy, but he's getting through this rack. Well, he needed a rack like this. Well, you just said that. This is a little bit more work this time. Good shot. Yeah. Absolutely, this is a good opportunity. And it really, you know, hurts Jason Shaw because he knows that he let this rack get away with a poor break. If you break them, break them dry, but the guy doesn't get ball in hand and has to play from our at, it's a little more acceptable because you make him really earn it. But you let him start with ball in hand at this skill level, it's going to conclude in a loss quite often. 9 8 our score. I'm really enjoying this match. I'm glad for you. <laughs> I want a little more enthusiasm, Danny. Um, Mark, I love pool. This is what I come here from Buffalo for. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there it is. Lee Van Cortez's broke nine times, successful four. And that's a standard that's just a little bit low. What's and Kenny telling him? I think he's uh, not sure. I'd he's like going to on know. Hold. There's a technical difficulty, I believe. He's asking him to oh, hold up play. Okay, I see. I'm just making that up. Oh, President Trump's here. Just joking, huh. just joking. <laughs> that would be neat. I always dream of that. Some illustrious dignitary arrived to watch. Okay, looks like we're good to go. Yep. Here we go. Lee Van Corteza at the table breaking. Leading 9-8. Is that a dry break? Key it is. Did not scratch. Did not make a ball either. Oh, man. Ugly beginning for Jason Shaw on this rack. Okay, what are you going to do, Jason? Mm. He doesn't have a shot. Forget no. about it. That's can't shoot here. <laughs> Even with his firepower, it's suicidal. You hate you know to push what? it I out. Push it, I push it like an inch and play poker with the guy. See if he wants to shoot this one. See, why shoot it from there? I, I push an inch. It's going to hit the four. Right on the nose and missed the ball. Yeah, that was a bad choice. I, I would have mm -hmm. pushed an inch first. You know, truthfully, he made a very, very good attempt at pocketing the ball, but he didn't want to scratch off the four ball, so he hit it a little thinner, so he hit heavier on the four. Mark, and then it was took a bad choice, the, Mark. I, oh, I'm not... I'm just, I said it's suicidal if you shoot the shot, Danny. I'm just saying I'm that... I'm not knocking you. He made a you know a reasonable attempt from what a difficult lie that really was, and I completely agree with you. Anything but just go down with shooting that shot. I would have played poker. Super tough Moving out in. here for Lee Van. And look oh, at that. he fell on the two pretty Man, good. That is a, a that's a terrific shot. Three. He had to negotiate a lot of traffic, two cushions, in and out of balls. Beautiful shot. He's got to make another good one right here. Yeah. And he's going to need an angle from the three to get to the four. This is one of those racks he gets out. I'm going to give him two games for it. Wow. Oh, that was a good choice there. Pure class. Yeah, that was a good shot. Pure class. Now, he's fallen so flat here, I would not hesitate to use the eight ball to my advantage and play a safety. But as Grady would say, that would be an extreme act of cowardice. But nonetheless, Grady might also say, if you play safe from there, <laughs> they ought to execute you. But he did play safe. <laughs> he, did. he played a dandy one. one. Yeah. 
Yeah, Jason's going to have to kick and make a pretty good kick here because it's easy to follow the set. What is it, the seven? Yeah, the seven ball there. Oh, boy. And yeah, that turned the heat up quite a bit. But Lee Van made two tremendous shots to get to this spot. Oh, he's going to tie something up. I think he's, gonna, he's thinking about an intentional foul here. That's how effective this safety has been. Yeah, I don't know what he could tie up to make it uh, right, a good right, chance. Right, right, yeah. It's, I don't see a tie-up. I don't either. <laughs> he, he also is looking at now, This is he's going to have to warp an angle to get a three-rail kick or four-rail kick. You see what I'm saying? I don't like his end of this. Well, he didn't either. Now I like it less. Let me, uh, well, Cortez can get on the hill now. It was all by virtue of those first two balls that he pocketed. First three balls, I guess. Oh, what did he make? Yeah, the first two. The great one ball to get position on the great two shot. And to get close enough to the three to use the eight as a safe. He performed exactly what we alluded to in the opening about having the tactical proficiency edge. Good angle here, because now he can draw it and be off the cushion. Maybe play the five in the same pocket as the four. Perfect. Well, he's looking to see if the seven goes. You know, nine may be in the way a little bit. I guess it's not. He doesn't have to do anything but make it because the seven ball is right there, automatic position. He's looking good. That's a good shot. No more problems here. You got a good angle on the eight to get off the rail and get to the nine. Kind of funny on the back of Lee Van shirt, he's sponsored by Molinari, but then he doesn't have a glove. He doesn't use one in this match anyway. Well, it's not that cold in here. <laughs> yeah, good point. And he locks down on this nine ball. He knows this is a big shot here. Put himself on the hill with a nice shot. Beautiful. Very well done. In a shot, you can't even dog. Right. Yeah. Ten eight is now our score. Down the hill. Man, that was a good rack. Two good opening shots, a good safety. I don't envy what Jason Shaw faced because he was trying to manufacture something that was hardly there. Yeah, and I didn't was, agree with his shot. What, what, what did you think? I, I didn't really see it, uh, many options there. I saw just pushing the ball an inch and play oh, poker. No, you're saying early. I'm, no, no. One. I'm talking about uh, the, when Lee Van got him hooked on the eight there and he had to try to warp an angle maybe four cushions to hit the 
object ball after he pocketed those two good shots. No, right, right. He did when he didn't push out. Yeah, I agree. An he inch or play something. Play poker or, with him. The guy us. was. He's been. You know, it depends right. on who you're playing and how he's playing. All right. Well, this will be Lee Van's last break of the set. Kind of cross the top of the rack just a little bit. Dry break. Dry break is right. Open layout. Okay, this is going to be an exciting match <laughs> now. This will be fun. Not sitting bad. The three goes to the poor in the side. Absolutely. Not many places he can get into trouble here, it doesn't appear. But maybe the four to the five. This shot will dictate that. Yeah, you got to get close to the four here. I wouldn't cinch this. Get close. Uh-oh, trouble, oh, Danny. Oh, right. He kind of decelerated a little bit there, and the ball <laughs> lost some of its spin upon impact. He and lost just... all of its spin. Yep, now Jason's going to have to take a chance here. Yeah, he's done. Well, I wouldn't <laughs> characterize I would. it quite like that. It's not doom yet. Well, if you didn't get out from there, oh, I, I oh. think you're done. I see what you're, you're saying. Yeah. There's still some play in this rack. I know. Yep, that was a wise shot. Jason gonna jump? No, it looks like he left the edge of the four. Uh, at least Lee Van uh, seemed disappointed about the outcome of this. Oh boy. Oh, that's a good shot. What a nice fine hit that was. <laughs> yeah. Well, Jason put himself where the distribution of the balls favors Jason Shaw. Eagle yeah. eye. Uh, well, solid he almost effort. made it, but he's going to sell out. Yeah, he can go forward now, two rails to the five in the side. Played your shot, hit it really well because that was not an easy shot. Especially when you're struggling and the other guy's on the hill, that makes it a little tougher. Still got some work to do. Yeah, you can't play position here. You just shoot the eight and play the nine in the far corner. Stick the ball. Nice. Work the cue ball just a little closer to the nine. He'll shoot to 10 inside, I believe, now. Sean now has nine. Cortez a 10. Yeah, when the guy's on the hill, any rack that looks easy is not. Right now, he's happy to be in the match. Yeah, on the 5x10, there's nothing that's easy either. It's about 25% more difficult than a 4.5x9 to play on. Shaw's break, yeah, break efficiency, he's at 250, which is well below pro standard. 
That's why it's a struggling match for him. The, mm -hmm. the break didn't help him. No, I think he scratched four times on the break. I would think that he would take a moment, really lock in aim-wise. He looked up at the score. He finally broke the soft break, and it didn't work. <laughs> But he snuckered him on the break. Yeah. He finally controlled the cue ball on the break, and it didn't work. Well, it did work in terms of he didn't scratch, give a ball in hand. He did not give up a You're direct right. shot. He didn't go off the table. Ken Schumann's discussing something. They're smiling, leave in. Yeah, I'm not leaving. I'm smiling too. Yeah, I don't know what that was. That was an interesting exchange. Boy, oh, nice. that's a good shot. He nice kick and stick there. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> Look at that shot. Wow. Yeah, the audience appreciates it. Of course, he didn't push. He kicked and controlled the cue ball perfectly. Oh, this is a tough hit. But he hit it, and he went in the pocket. Bad and luck, too, because uh, he made a nice shot. Like you said, this is not an easy hit. It was not. This is curtains for him. I'll call that because, look, nobody's close to each other. Everything's out in the open. Well, and plus, you don't mind being controversial anyway, so. But yeah. And he said, here's a, a new <laughs> clean cue wall. You know, the four is a little bit interesting down here because it's got two corner pockets. No, the, it goes past the nine freely. Got one pocket for sure that's wide open. Yeah, I would have to say he's going to get out. Yeah, he just needs to preserve good angles. We're not alluding that or insinuating that this is easy. We Nothing just, is easy. Big match. We just think that he's perfectly well capable of not exposing himself to a great deal of risk as he plays himself directly out of line here. He doesn't like this. No. No, he, he went, you know, <laughs> three a feet too far. Thin to hit. He wasn't even trying to play the back cut this ball. He was trying to play the three in the same pocket he played the two. Just don't miss, that's all. That was a nice shot. Yeah, but he might not get real good here. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Still tough, though, Danny, because it's when you tough, cut this right. in the side, the six ball enters the play. If you have to power up and draw to get back near the center of the table to back cut the five. And like I always say, whatever you do, don't miss. Mm -hmm. That would be the real disaster. I think you should bend the cue ball here and come to the end rail and just take a, a long shot on the five in the corner. Mark, that's Cyclops cue ball. This it's is why. Bend. Yep. Yeah, it's going to hit the six. I, I oh. mentioned it. I'm working on bending the cue ball. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's I moved on when I saw the danger of that shot. He yep. still has danger here. Yeah, he's going to turn the cue ball loose. It looks like he can make the five on the side from here. What's Where are you going, happen? cue ball? Oh, perfect. Not quite. No, he's pretty uh, good. I'd rather be shooting than having my opponent shoot. Yeah, he's smiling. He knows he's alive. Dangerous. Good, good shot. shot. Good shot. Good shot. I think it's over. Yeah. Certainly want to send a big shout out to uh, one of our pool fans, Chris Salvo, listening back in St. Louis. Welcome aboard, Chris. Of 
pressure ball now. Oh no. I had a feeling he was going to miss it and he twitched. That wasn't a great solid stroke. Oh, Shaw's smiling. He's happy. Well, yeah. How did he get to this point? Oh my God. Mm. Terrible. Most interesting turn He's of smiling events. too. He, he knows that if that went in, he was done. Wow. Unbelievable. We were informed that was Cortez's first mistake in the last X number of games. I couldn't hear, but it's been a while since he made a mistake, that's for sure. Boy. <laughs> Shaw wins this match. He knows he got blessed. Hill Hill. Smoothly arrives at the corner pocket there with the 10. 10 10. Jason Shaw breaking. I wish we could see that miss on Cortez again because he twitched. Yeah, his head wiggled. It looked like I was watching just his body. I didn't even watch the ball just to see what the stroke mechanics looked like. If you have, a, if you have any uh, chinks in your armor on the stroke technique, it manifests itself under extreme duress or power. Uh, Cortez uh, doesn't look real happy. No, I don't blame no, him. not at all. Nope. We're going to see that miss again. Because he watch twitched. With a, watch him twitch around. Yeah. So, he jumped up to... The, uh, you got to stay down right through the stroke. And even people early love in, it. in the week, Danny, that ball falls in when the you cloth know is brand people new. People are clapping because they know both players are suffering. And Shaw squares them up. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy, here we go. Pure class to break and run out on the hill, too, oh, by yeah, the way. Look, the one went. This is how everything went for him the other day. Now was the two past the eight. Not easily. No, you'd have to really be on that. You'd have to be very close. You wouldn't want to play that off angle. That being said, yesterday Jason Shaw made a combination that was off angle from down table that he just bet the game on. Look at this. Oh, wow. My goodness. He hit the point. Yeah. But he got yeah. close to it like you said. He needed to. Well, I don't. I still think he might have to play the bigger than the eight if he's going to play offense here. It, no, I this, think the two well, he's, passes. He's left-handed. I mean... Seriously, I don't think he can even really awkwardly reach it. Maybe, maybe with the, the bridge. Two passes. All right. Oh, billiard on the eight. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Jason Shaw. Ooh. Perfect. <laughs> Greased it in there. Perfect. He got perfect on this ball. Well, he can really consider this a chance to steal this match. I would say sixteen thousand dollars, but it's twelve thousand because he's already got four. Well, he oh, moves man, to eight thousand with this game, with this ten ball. What a miracle! And yeah. Shaw closes out the match with his first yeah. break and run out, standing ovation here, big crowd. And being the gentleman that he is, Cortez shook his hand and grinned. That tough match. Uh, hard fought by both players. This has been World Class Pool presented by AccuStats, the worldwide leader in billiard programming. That's our time for this time. Until next time, so long. <laughs>